Hey, this is James at All Here on Internal Combustion. We uh, just got a rear end, put a Ford 9 inch into our 84 F-150 extended cab. We decided while we got it up and running again before we pull this thing to put an oil pump in it, we just want to check it out and see how healthy the motor is. So uh, we pulled the plugs out. And these are our plugs. This is five six seven and eight and they don't look not oil fouled not completely disgusting relatively happy and we've got one two three and four they're looking the same way so to me that's saying we just did valve seals in this not too long ago so it appears the valve seals aren't letting any oil by and our oil control rings seem to be in good shape so the next thing we're going to do is a compression test on this thing because we kind of want to know how healthy this motor is. It's got, it says 120,000 miles on it and we want to see because we might be upgrading this motor at some point and putting a cam into it if everything goes right with the bottom end work. So why waste money putting a cam into a slagged out motor? If this is healthy, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to pull some numbers off of here. When you're doing a compression check, you want to thread into one of your spark plug holes. You want to hold your accelerator pedal down and you go ahead and crank the engine. And on that cylinder, we're showing about 130 PSI. So we're going to go ahead and check the rest of them and see what we come up with. Okay, so we got our uh, compression numbers off our Ford 302, and it's actually looking pretty good. Our uh, lowest cylinder was number one here at 120 PSI, and we had five cylinders at 130, two of them at 125. Usually the uh, general rule is 10% of your highest cylinder, which is 13 PSI. So we are well within range, and... I wouldn't have a problem dropping a cam into this thing and doing some more work to it after we replace the oil pump and check the bearings in the bottom end because we do have a, uh, it's not a bad knock, it's a knock that picks up when we drop oil pressure once the engine oil warms up, so I'm pretty sure the oil pump is uh, on its way out the door, which is why we want to fix it before it gets catastrophic and causes the engine to fail, but uh that's what we're up to today after getting the rear into it and uh junior just put all the plugs back into it and hooked the plug wires back up so on to something else after he cranks it up and checks it Yeah, we're starting to think possibly there's a grinding noise in there that's the uh, oil pump failing. But uh, next step is we're going to be pulling the motor out of it and checking it over. All hail internal combustion. Like and subscribe, please.